Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today it is Valentine's Day, so ha happy Valentine's to all of you out there. And of course, being Rise of Empires, we have a event for today. It is the Flower Guardian event. So this is going to be in your events page and then here, Flower Guardian um, event intro. Marauders in the wild are also getting busy during this love field festival, but their way of expressing love is quite different than most. To them, destruction and annihilation are the true meaning of love. On top of that, they've claimed many gifts meant for lords for themselves. My lord, you must defeat them. Reclaim your holiday gifts. The event has started today and is on for four days. And just a reminder at the bottom, you can obtain up to 100 treasures each day from defeating marauders and gathering resources. Rally battles do not drop treasures. So this is exactly the same game mechanics as the, um, the Horror from the Ruins event that we had and if you look we're going to accumulate these chests in our items and i've already accumulated my hundred for the day in my main account they haven't changed the wording for it it's still called shadow assassin chest in the items treasures plundered by the shadow assassins they might contain valuable items and if we have a look at where we can get them from well as stipulated before in the event description you can get them by either attacking the basic marauders or you can attack destroyers you're going to get nine chests as you can see in those reports so you need to attack 12 of either the destroyers or the marauders obviously you can only attack 10 destroyers a day so if you do they do that route you'll still have to attack two of the normal marauders and then also you can obtain all 100 chests just from gathering um so those are the way that you can obtain your chests let's have a look now at the prizes so this is an example of some prizes that i got in another account um i also have been able to obtain an advanced teleport an eight hour shield um wisdom medals which are given at 10 at a time a um, hundred thousand hero xp and of course super recruitment tickets now i've completed the um the hundred chests in um currently in three accounts and i've only got a super recruitment ticket in one of those accounts let's see what we get from the hundred from today's hundred in my main account so some more speed ups marble lumber five advanced recruitments a bit of gold iron six of the skin exchange vouchers we're going to talk about the exchange shop in a second hundred crystal food dragonite wisdom two lots of hundred thousand hero xp uh no super recruitment ticket for me today but you will be hopefully you know some of you out there will be getting those rewards so that's how the, the actual event mechanic works for the next four days also as i just mentioned we do have a new exchange shop with these exchange vouchers so let's have a look at the items available to us so first off we have the top item which is going to cost you 50 exchange vouchers and this is the sweet Valentine Day pink castle skin. So castle decoration exchange vouchers can be used at the School of Architecture to exchange for relevant decorations. And again, like we saw in the previous event, they have given some attribute boosts in these skins. So this first one has um, an additional 10% medical tank capacity. So hopefully, you know, for those of you that have unlocked lots of the research and, and leveled up your medical tents, that would actually give you 10% so in my case it would be an extra 67,000 if that is the case that's a pretty nice boost of course these are only temporary for three days these items so that's the first one then we have another skin um, which is the sweet valentine's day champagne skin again this is three days and uh, you again can obtain it with 50 exchange vouchers you have to then go to the school of architecture to activate it and this is going to give plus 15% for your medical tent healing speed. So this also has an additional attribute element to it. So those are both quite nice. And um, the third, then we also have a third skin, which is the candy house. And that is just, oh, the dream of eating one's way out of a house made of candy. It doesn't have any attribute boosts on that one, unfortunately. What else can we um, spend our normal exchange vouchers on? Well, there is a rose castle tag for the Valentine's Roses themed castle tag. Again, that's only three days. It'll cost you 10 vouchers if you want to do that. Um, probably the main point of interest for everyone is that we do have the super recruitment tickets back as usual. You can collect three during the event. They'll cost 10 vouchers each. And then we also have the 250,000 gold. For those of you that are spenders, you can buy 
um, the Royal Skin Exchange vouchers in the packs, and we'll have a look at that in the gift shop in a minute. And it's the same four items available to you um, as you can get in the limited section, but obviously these will be, uh, so this is permanent, the Candy House for 150 exchange vouchers, the Roses would be permanent for 30. Um, you only get a 30 day Sweet Valentine's Day pink and only a 30 day on the Sweet Valentine's Day champagne. One super recruitment ticket, you can get up to 10 of those for five exchange vouchers and you can get 100 Courage medals, 100 of those, so 10,000 available. Uh, they cost two exchange vouchers each. So if you want to purchase those packs for you spenders out there, you can go into the gift shop and you'll find here that we have two options for you. The um, surprise decor pack. So again, you this, will, this first one will give you the pink uh, skin permanent, which will give you that extra 10% medical capacity permanently. Uh, you can also get super recruitment tickets, wisdom medals, the exchange vouchers and gems as usual. It's the same percentages as usual. You're only gonna have a 1% chance to get that sweet Valentine's Day decor. There is another pack as well, the champagne pack, which is the same price here in the UK, it's 9.49, and that will give you the permanent champagne skin, which will give you that extra 15% healing speed. Same um, rewards available, same percentages, etc. So those are the packs that you could do for that. Now, also, what we've had this week is If I can find it correctly, we have had the Find Nian event. So we are on to the fifth day of this event and it started on Tuesday. If we go into the event, you had to complete six personal arms race rewards each day and that would unlock three tile fragments for you to use. So I've now completed, this is my last tile fragment on the puzzle. So we're gonna use that now. I had obtained all of the other rewards in the prize pool. You can see they just get grayed out once you've claimed them. And uh, well, it's once they've been automatically allocated to you, sorry. And uh, the game has decided to leave the super recruitment ticket to last. So I guess that's the best tool last, that's fine. So we're gonna claim that now. So here we go. And congrats on unlocking the final rewards. Click the upper decoration icon to obtain the unlocked items. So we get a Niam Bell. And then if you go into your items, you'll see we have the bell, the bell around Nian's neck, ring it to call the Nian over. So we'll have to go into our decorations, into the Architecture Institute as usual, decorations I would suspect, here we go. And Nian unlock, you use the one bell. That is then unlocked. If we come out, you can see in the buildings icon, you've got a new notification and in the decorations section, you've got the notification. And then you can see we have a Nian here. And then you basically just place him down wherever you want. And that's your Nian. It, I'm not sure if he does anything else. It doesn't, oh, he's got a little, he does a little shake. Anything else. There doesn't seem to be any consumables or anything else coming out when you collect him. So I think that's it for him. Um, so there we go, guys. That is the Flower Guardian event. Hopefully you're going to get lucky with your rewards in the next four days. Um, and obviously we have also now finished the um, Find the Anne event as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do click on that like. And I'd be interested to hear what rewards you're getting. Have you been lucky? Have you got multiple super recruitment tickets in your rewards, for instance? What do you think about these kind of events? Could the devs be doing something different? Um, it would just be interesting to hear your thoughts on it all. And if you haven't already, why not click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel, which is daily. And if you could please share my channel in your Alliance chat, province chat, and through Lime WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.